All right, we are here, Spicer's Boat City in Holton Lake. Why are we at Spicer's Boat City in Holton Lake? Because we are headed to the UP because the snow in the lower Michigan is pretty much horrible. It rained pretty much all day Thursday, 48 degrees and rain. So that wiped pretty much everything that was even remotely rideable out totally. So we're headed to the UP going to Newberry. Should be a whole lot more fun than what we got going on in the lower. So we had to pick a couple things up, so I figured we would uh, stop at uh, Splash's Boat City. It's pretty crazy. This is pretty much all they got right here. They got a Polaris, two used uh, ski -Doos, and they got a bunch of Polaris side-by-sides. A couple four seats, a couple, couple uh, generals, and that's it. That's all I got, which is pretty wild. We'll see you at the bridge. traffic on the trails because I probably passed 15 snowmobile truck trailer headed to the headed north at least 15 I lost track but yeah if you like what we're doing make sure you like uh, like this video smash the subscribe button so you don't miss out on uh, the next upcoming videos we are here we are in Newberry we are at our Airbnb which is pretty darn good I mean, we rented, we uh, booked this January 26th. I found out that uh, my wife was gonna have two days off of work. So I took the two days off and we looked and looked and looked a month ago and this is what we found. It was uh, listed as a, a hmm, fixer upper special kind of deal or whatever. I think that hasn't been doing it that long, which I was fine with because you literally could not find a hotel room, cabin, at all in Newberry. As we were coming up, every single motel that we passed, the closer you got to Newberry, the parking lots were packed full. I mean packed. And it is absolutely snowing buckets outside. We're in a winter weather winter weather advisory. I think we're supposed to get six to eight tonight, another six to eight tomorrow. So we picked a perfect weekend. I mean we're super happy with it. I mean it's you got couch uh tv got a nice got nice here. bedroom right here with a tv comfy bed if you got dogs they got a cage it's dog friendly no big deal uh furnace i mean it's definitely definitely dated but like you said they were working on it and they did not hide it one bit they absolutely said that this is what they're doing and they're trying to work towards uh you know fixing it up to make it you know better but we're not having anything available I'm telling you what 
I mean, you can see obviously the kitchen cabinets, they must have them, take them off and they're gonna paint them or mm -hmm. they must be in the process of doing something. But, I mean, it's got an oven. We're cooking a couple pizzas right now, full size fridge and freezer, microwave with a table. It's warm in here. Definitely nice, we're happy with it. The outside definitely looks rough when you first roll up to it. It's definitely questionable, but once you get inside, like got the two place clam and we got probably another 10 feet, 10 feet behind that to the alley. So I mean, definitely got plenty of room to park a trailer. So I mean, we're gonna be able to unload and just hit the trail first thing in the morning and we're gonna have fresh snow. But yeah, should be fun. We're going to probably Squamish on tomorrow. We're here for two and a half days, so we're definitely going to be doing some riding because can't do it in the lower. And one sports shop we uh, stopped in today bought a map. They said that their groomers broke, so hopefully with all this snow we're getting, if we get up early enough in the morning and hit it pretty early, we don't have to worry about the trails getting really whooped out till on our way back. But who knows? I don't know how long it's been broke but didn't sound like it was gonna be fixed anytime soon, so. Well, we got some snow last night. Now this was pretty much not here yesterday. This driveway was totally plowed. Don't look like we got that much on the trailer, but this was not here, all this snow. Which is gonna make the snowmobile trip pretty freaking awesome. Gonna be a good day of riding, man. And we just got eight, 10 inches of snow. It's gonna be awesome. Ooh. Is she heavy? We're gonna have to Don't get rid of some. fall of owning a clamshell. When you get 10 inches of snow, you can't open the lid without clearing it off, so.
Well, we made it to Quamanon Falls. The trail was pretty much jacked, but it turned out nice. There is a ton of snowmobiles here. Just a beautiful weekend. We're gonna go down to the falls. We'll see you in a minute.
Day one's complete. Uh, it was a good day. Uh, the trails were rough coming out of Newberry. I mean rough. Pretty much 80% all the way to the to the falls. But hey, we got no snow down where we're at. And uh, we had a great time today. Uh, Taquamanon uh, Brewery. Good food. Uh, really nice staff. That place was absolutely packed. We only had to wait like 15 minutes. So tomorrow we're going to head to Grand Marais tomorrow, but uh, we're going to head south talking to some guys. We're going to head towards Curtis tomorrow morning. But uh, yeah, if you like what we're doing, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.